97.3 City FM. Relevant Radio. Always. Welcome to our continuing coverage of the African Cup of Nations and um, Ghana have qualified out of Group C and topped the group. One key player throughout the three games, he played all, uh, what, 270 minutes or just about um, a few minutes shy of that. Andre, are you? He's our guest today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Andre, first question. If you could choose one word to describe how you feel, what would it be? Calm. Calm. Even after qualifying from a group of so-called death? Yeah, um, it's, it's true that we are proud and we are happy to, to qualify. But um, when you're in a tournament, you need to take it easy and think about the next game. But um, with all what the Black Stars have been through, I think coming out of this group is a great achievement for us. Are you as surprised that you have topped the group as everybody else is? No. Everyone is surprised, but we had confidence in us. We, we knew what we can do. And, but why I'm happy and why I'm personally proud is um, any player who had to wear the jersey at this moment um, and the Black Star had double pressure than we used to. And I think with all the young players we have, um, we cope really well and uh, we are happy we are proud but we are not swollen headed because what is the beginning is just that I think it was very important for for the group the players um, to win because um, as I say it was a difficult situation but uh, we managed to to win this game at the 92nd minute and that shows that we never give up. It was it was hard. A lot of people thought the game was over and Zero Zero would have put in a feet back home already. So, you know, Jan had a clinical finish and took us through to, to keep hoping and to keep a chance of getting to the next stage. Now, for you yourself, the past two years in the Black Stars have been quite difficult because I think you admit that your form of 2009 and 2010, we have not seen that, especially after you got that injury to your shoulder with Tunisia. When you wear the national team shirt, Andre, what's, what's happening? Your form isn't as powerful as it used to be, your influence on the game. For me, it's perfect. For me, it's perfect. When you check my records of goals and assists in the past two years and the ones before, I think you see the, the, the difference. I don't have anything to change. Um, we all just want to get better as a player. Uh, uh, playing for the Ghana national team is an is a honour for any, any Ghanaian. And I feel that, um, you know, I've had a lot of injuries playing for the Black Stars. I hurt my shoulder, I had a shoulder operation, had a knee operation just before the World Cup. So, and I, I think uh, I came out of the Black Stars for some few months. Um, so for me, I think um, we can always do better. That's, that's for sure, but... I'm okay with what I'm doing and I'll try and do better every time. I think since I was young, uh, I had the opportunity to to practice my air game and I've been working on it. Okay, now I work a bit less on it because I want to work on other aspects that I, maybe I can progress more. So we always work to try to become better, but the places that you know that you're a bit better, you can slow down on there and try to go and work on those where you think you you can do more. So I feel um, that I need to continue working and to be even better in the air and, and on the pitch. Getting into the, the quarterfinals, uh, you'll be leaving here. You'll be going to Malabo pretty shortly. Um, Malabo has, you know, it's a bigger place, bigger facilities, a bigger stadium. 
for somebody like you, you've played in the biggest stadia in the world. That's the difference between small stadia here in Mongomo and Malabo make a difference in a big tournament like this? Well, I think um, now in the situation where we are, um, it's just a win issue. Um, if you lose, you're going home. So we need to stay in our, in our heads that, you know, stay focused, not think about what's going around. What's important is the grass and then the 22 players on the field and the others who are come, going to come in. We cannot, um, you know, say maybe the stadium here is small and that one is big. So no, there's no excuse or there's no advantage. Okay. I think what's important is when you, you play at home in front of your supporters, then you have the advantage. <laughs>